Navigating Early by Claire Vanderpool is the coming-of-age narrative of a 13-year-old boy, Jack Baker. Jack has recently moved from Abilene, Kansas to Cape Fealty, Maine at the command of his military father. Having recently lost his mother, Jack struggles to find common bonds with his long-absent father. At his new boarding school, Morton Hill Academy, Jack continues to struggle. He is naturally alienated from the other boys his age. He has spent his entire life in landlocked northeastern Kansas. Jack does not understand the rules of these Maine boys' wealthy culture. He does not know the world of rowing and steeplechase that they idolize. Then Jack meets Early Auden. According to Jack, Early is the strangest of boys. He counts and sorts jelly beans. He only listens to Billy Holiday when it's raining. Yet Early quickly takes to Jack. He helps Jack learn to row. He offers Jack muscle cream when Jack becomes sore. And, most importantly, he shares the story of Pi with Jack. It is this story about Pi, coupled with the sightings of a great Appalachian bear, that leads these two boys on an unforgettable adventure through the dangerous woods of Maine. Their lives are threatened, their friendship is pushed to its limits, and what they find at the end of their journey will change their lives forever. This young adult novel is a wonderful addition to any middle school classroom. It has the potential to work for a freshman class as well. The themes with which I hope for students to empathize are growing up and accepting someone different from yourself. Navigating Early would work well as an independent novel. The structure, plot, and syntax are not challenging beyond the average student's ability. It is a comfortable read, if a little long. The characters are relatable. Students should not have a lot of difficulty reading this novel on their own. They may even enjoy it. The text also has the capability to be paired with a history unit. Its plot is set shortly after the end of World War II. There are mentions of D-Day, the invasion of Normandy, Pearl Harbor, and a few smaller, less well-known occurrences. Students could use this novel to view these historical moments through a different lens. They could see how different the war looks from the eyes of a 13-year-old boy. They can also examine how the war split up families. Incorporating art into the study of this novel is an easy procedure. Early provides visual language through his recounting of the stories of Pi. Jack and Early's adventure through the woods of Maine also offers a variety of visual language from which to choose. If studying this novel within the context of a history unit, images and art from and about World War II can be a supplement to the student's education. I strongly advocate the use of navigating Early in the classroom. I plan on my future students having it as an option for their independent novels. No matter how this novel is brought into the classroom, though, students are sure to benefit from the experiences of Jack and Early. Pick up a copy today.